Hello everyone, today we're doing another tag video. Now, funnily enough, this will be the second time I do this tag. It is the on my shelf tag. I did this like eight months ago, so yeah, I thought it's a tag that you can keep redoing. It's not like it asks you the same questions. Pretty much what this is is you um, have random numbers and you count your shelves and you go to that book and you tell about your memories of that book, your history of that book, what you thought about that book. So yeah, Jessica over at Price is Wrong just, just did this video and she tagged me in it and I was like, I'll do it again. It seems interesting. It's a pretty cool tag. I got Oregon and four sets of numbers, two each, one for each shelf, or one, the first number for a shelf, and then the second number for the book on that shelf. Um, I'm sitting down, as you can plainly see, so when I do go to the shelf, I'm gonna cut that out and just roll on back to... Um, the first set of numbers I have is four and one. So I'm gonna start, I have two shelves, if you guys don't know, I have this one and I have this one over here. So I'm gonna start with that shelf because there's so many more books on that book bookcase. So yeah, four and one, I will be right back to I am back, the book on the fourth shelf, the first book is Noggin and by Jory, John Corey Whaley. Funnily enough, this whole shelf that I pulled from is my TBR, like books I need to read that I haven't yet. So I wish I could tell you more about this book because I, I, I can't because I haven't read it, but I've heard amazing things about it. It's about a guy that wakes up um, five years later he had his head cut off or something and now his head is attached to some other guy's body and yeah everything is different around him so that, that's why the cover is so cool. It's got like a Ken head on like a army looking guy's body. I've heard amazing things about this author so yeah I wish I could tell you more about it but I haven't read it yet, so I don't know. The second set of numbers is 312, so I will be right back. Alright, so I'm back, and the shelf I pulled from, like, I try to categorize each of my shelves, that's just the type of person I am, like, one shelf is, like, for my mass produced paperbacks, one shelf's for, like, my adult books, one shelf's for, like, my favorites, the other shelf is for, like, another one of my favorites, the one I pulled from is my favorites, and that is Champion by Marie Lu. This is the third book in the Legend Trilogy. And yeah, I think, did I read this like two years ago? I don't know. I really liked it. The ending wasn't super amazing, but it was definitely a better ending than some why trilogies have ended, like in Heartbreak and stuff. So this one was like a bittersweet but hopeful ending. I really, really love this trilogy. Um, it's a dystopian trilogy. If you have not read Legend, you need to because it's a really awesome trilogy, like I said. And Champion, it's it's, it's a solid trilogy. It's definitely one of my favorites. That's why it's, and it's on my favorite shelf. My next set of numbers is 16 too. I don't have 16 shelves, so I'm just going to count until I get it. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 13, 14, 15, 16, 2. Oh man, I got such a good book. This got pulled off of my adult like paperback um, shelf. And the book that got pulled was I've Got Your Number by Sophie Kinsella. Oh, I have such fond memories of this book. I read this like last year, I think. Or the year before, memory is horrible. Well, I said I had a good memory anyway. Um, I first listened to this book on audio and I fell in love with it. I highly recommend if you haven't read this book yet, listen to it on audio. It's hilarious. This is about a girl named Poppy who is engaged and she loses her engagement ring and by a turn of events she meets this guy and he is like, she finds his phone, a lot of that. It's an amazing book. It's a definitely my favorite chick lit book of all time. So if you can tell it is my favorite chick lit author. She's just amazing and she's... I just, I love this book, so I highly recommend if you like romantic, funny, witty type of chick lit novels, please pick this up. So, so good. Oh, my favorite Sophie Can Sell book ever. I can just hug it forever. And my last set of numbers is 5-4. And surprisingly enough, random.org like, gave me all like really small numbers. I don't know why, but whatever. And that shelf's right here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, because I like this book. I like this book. I just thought I'll fall. And this is also coming from another one of my favorite shelves. It's like my taller favorites. It's, yeah, it's weird to know. And that's gonna be Air of Fire by Sarah J. Moss. I learned recently how to say her last name. Now, since we all know, everyone's talking to me about it. So I know, I'll say Moss now. Got it, we're good. This is the fourth book of the um, Throne of Glass series and it is huge. It's got like, it's gonna be over 500 pages. It's got to be. Yeah, it's like 550 pages. Massive, but this is such an amazing series. It's a YA fantasy series. Surprise me, I know. I've been reading a lot of fantasy this year. Like, who am I? But <laughs> I really love this tro the series. Series. It's about a girl named Selena who is an assassin and she gets entered into this contest of like 
being the king's assassin and stuff like that. And it's just so interesting. The world's amazing. Very confusing, but amazing. And I love Sarah J. Moss. Amazing. She just, um, I just read her newest book of, her new, her new series called A Court of Thorns and Roses. Love that. Love it. I love Sarah J. Moss. She is just, Matt, Ma Moss. <laughs> she's just, she's so amazing at what she does. So so there you have it my new online shelf tag maybe i'll do one of these like every couple months or something to like spontaneously show books throughout my shelf you know it's a good way to like showcase some of your books i feel like the books i got though a lot of you guys know i like i wish it was a little bit more random but random.org they made the choice not me i'm picking the shelves but yeah anyway i'll talk to you guys later and uh, have a great day Bye. so i really had high ups for the second one and I didn't really like it a lot. I felt like it could have been a novella almost. Not a lot happened in it. It's significantly shorter than the other one. And